Good morning everybody. It's five o'clock in the Netherlands. Today we're gonna pick up a U-boat submarine engine. It's the biggest project we had so far. It's a crazy thing to do. Uh, we're gonna be driving two hours towards the Rhine River and uh, we'll take you along today uh, on this trip. So yeah, on the road, my, I brought my girlfriend along. She always joins in on these trips. So, on the roads towards the Rhine River, pick up the submarine. She was built on the Germania Werft in Kiel, uh, which also built the Prince Eugen cruiser. They built a total of 84 submarines during the war. The engine we're picking up is U4802, ordered uh, 23 November 1944. The order was cancelled on 29th of January 1945. Yes, that's the Dutch windmill you see there. Short tour across the Dutch countryside towards our destination. And that's two rounds. The Kielwerf got heavily bombed during the war, as you can see on the photos. Almost there, Dutch shipyard, they found the engine. Well, hello everyone, finally arrived at the Rhine River. Pick it up, so yeah, enjoy the view. And of course, a German flag when you pick up a U-boat engine. But yeah, 12,000 kilograms, how do you pick it up? We had to uh, order a deep loader on a Sunday. Well, here we are. It's time to go. Check. The driver did not have time on a Sunday, but uh, after an offer of some uh, extra beer, they took the drive. And also want to say a big thanks to Frederick from uh, FEAM44 for uh, hooking us up for this engine. Cheers, bro. We had no space uh, ourselves to store it, but uh, a friend of us, he still had a piece of land where we could uh, store the engine. Unfortunately, after uh, one or two years storage, a disaster happened at the site. We will uh, tell you later in the video what happened. How do you get such engine? If you have the chance to buy it, don't hesitate. Be quick, offer the money, extra crates of beer and a bottle of wine for the wife. And uh, you can seal the deal fast. As we did, not many people were happy about that. Even got angry emails from museums. Very strange story on that part, but ah well.
So it finally arrived at the final destination where it would be stalled and covered until further notice on uh, what to do with it. Of course, after giving my personal uh, directions. Deze kant daarin kan dat. Zeg maar. Uh... Nou, die turbo wil je aan deze kant of aan die kant? Aan die kant. So the last images with information from the U-boat engine. As said before, a disaster happened. A fire broke out in the building next to the engine. A friend of me died in that fire. A uh, big disaster and the engine unfortunately had to move out really fast. So uh, old metal guy came to pick it up. The destination right now is unknown. Thank you for watching.